Well, heading to the cabin just across the Churchill River and look what happened. I had a bolt snap in my spring. It's twisted, well, it didn't do anything to the spring. And you can see right here. And the bolt that holds that on right here is missing, so it should be an easy fix. So I'm going to turn around and uh, I'll drop my sleigh at the cabin and then see if I can go fix this quickly and get out there. But at least it happened right here, not in the middle of the tundra. This bolt right here just popped up, broke I guess. And you can see I still have this one. I got spare of these at the cabin though. So I'm going to have to see if I can uh, find this little piece <laughs> over here where it broke. I mean if the bolt just came off now, we will get lucky and find it. Damn it. Oh look at that, right there. There's the bolt that snapped. Well, at least it's nothing major, that's for sure. That's always uh, why that stuff doesn't bother me. If my tracker shredded into a million pieces, yep, it'd be kind of pissed. Oh, there it is. Right there. Look at that. Hey, guys. A little bit of patience, and I found it. Right on. Well, I just called a buddy. He's going to bring some bolts. I got all the pieces, so I'm just going to turn around and putt back to the ca cabin right there, or to Goose Creek. And then hopefully uh, he's got one that fits. Just sitting at uh, Goose Creek here. I came from uh, across the ridge you see in the far distance. Other side of the Churchill River. Nice day. And thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Good luck to you. <laughs> Thanks. See you later. Well, I made it to Otter Creek. No problems. No more busted bolts. Caught a red fox in my Martin box. I'm not going to be resetting this one. You can see he chewed the bottom out, but I'll leave that one until next year. No big deal. I'll take everything with me right now. Let's get to the cabin, make a fire. And we'll be doing a few things. Like uh, see if we can get the booster to work. And a few other things. Well, I just put zero in here now. Won't take long. It's beautiful outside. As you can see, nice temperature out there. I took the back off here. And that'll allow the heat in there. Get that a little bit uh, warmer. Easy to sit here with my first cup of tea. I can see that beautiful fox out there. Yeah. So Dave showed me a, a different way with his boxes, and I said I had no. Well, I guess I could use mine the same way, but I'd have to build so. No, I wouldn't have to. They'd be fine. But I think I might take them off the ground. And I will get one now and show you. So here's one of Dave's boxes. I do have some of his. I don't know how many I got back there. Maybe 12. I bought off him. Uh, I was coming back here from the south, so I snagged a bunch off him. And I think I'll get more now. So he's telling me that put that clip on the tree and he goes, you know, well, obviously you've got so many trees here and there. He goes, it's not like there's no trees around. And I said, well, exactly. I could still uh, put these off the ground and put them his way, which is uh, a 220. And just put them like so far off the ground, you know, and obviously on the tundra. And that way my traps ain't going to blow in anymore, my 330s. And I think I'll keep those 330s for the bush. Because you don't get much, obviously, you're not going to get uh, too much snow blowing in the bush, right? Then they're not going to always uh, bury. So um, that was a good idea he had. And he brought some for demonstration. 
purposes, like I said, but uh, we never got around to it. Okay, I got my tower down and I'm looking for my other clamp, U bolt. I brought a piece of 2 inch ABS with me. I was just looking because I, on the way here, I was thinking, boy, I have a long piece here, but uh, I guess I don't. And I'm glad I didn't think I did because. There's a, a little stubby piece in the back. I didn't want to try this with Dave with here because my back was too crappy. Jeez, that's pretty freaking close. We'll try that. I got it through. Oh yeah, that's plenty. I just gotta see if it's tangled up on the roof. Should be a little more than that. Two bars, three bars. So I'm gonna move this box because I think it says not to have it in line with the, the antenna. We'll see if that does anything. I got one a couple screws here. I don't care if we put screws on this one. <laughs> Character. I'll stretch this out as far as I can go. Right here. And we'll see if that's better. See, then it dies. No service, it's that see. That's what I did last time when I plugged it in. So, does that mean that I should move back to where it was, or what? Yeah, that's what I did before. I was thinking that. Uh, I was thinking it's not going to last that signal. what happened before but just in case it needs to be right here I mean if that was a true signal it would uh, I mean I would have got service with three bars I would have I would have got an internet connection right away and see, there you go. So I guess it doesn't work out here. Oh, still no signal from my uh, booster. And like I said, I didn't expect what did that same thing before, and I never got it back again. And it wasn't facing <laughs> town then, so I don't expect anything. Maybe tonight, who knows, maybe we'll get some good skip, and next thing you know, I'll have a uh, I'll have a signal. And if any of you guys know how know anything about them, if you can get stronger ones, you know, that reach farther, let me know. And I might try it. I'll do a big potato right away on the barbecue, but I was waiting for the steak to thaw a little bit, and while that was thawing, I took out this little weather station that a subscriber sent me. He said it was like Marcus, he said, Don't make a big deal out of it, so I'm not gonna. And uh, I want to thank you for that. That's pretty cool. I, I was sitting here uh, trying to figure it out. So indoor, outdoor temperature, weather. It, the light can't stay on very long though, but it's probably meant for that, so it don't kill the batteries, I'm guessing. But I'll see if, I, if, if there's something I can change in there for a mode for, uh, the, for the light to stay on a little bit longer. Otherwise, you know what? How am I supposed to show you the temperature indoor and outdoor when it's that quick? So, anyway, I'll work on that. But thank you so much, that's pretty cool. Just seasoning my steak now. Hello. Sit 
open up here. Oh yeah, she's soft. Okay, that can go in. Stick should be ready. Oh yes, perfect. We'll let that rest for about five to ten minutes. I think how hungry I am. And the lamp is charged. I'll use that to go get the generator. And I didn't end up taking this back with me. Remember, it was broken. I just ended up uh, taping it for now. Well, I just crawled out of bed, slept in a little this morning. It's uh, quarter, to, quarter to seven. And that's a beautiful looking sky this morning. It is, well, it looks like about five or six degrees in here. It is. Mine is 15.6 outside. He's in the sleigh. Now I decided to empty the porch. Reach down without having to my back pull. I gotta empty the port so I can work on it. I want to clean it out and uh, I have to uh, do some stuff in here. Right on that lake where I lost that 220 and I thought I'd stop and share that with you guys since I didn't pull the camera out when I did find it. I had a 220 buried against this rock, well half buried, and a stick. Well me and Dave came back here and Dave was uh, driving around the perimeter looking in the trees in that fort and then I started walking around and I noticed a drag pattern over here and I followed it and bang I found my trap not far only the trap no log nothing in it that's the last box and I'll turn around it just the lights too flat Beautiful out, but man, I'm scared of uh, just jamming my back. And I looked down, I was doing 10 kilometers an hour all the way here. And it took me, well, it took me uh, an hour and a half just to get here. Yeah, too bad we didn't get that fox there. Terrible. So I just passed the cabin, 
I went straight to the river and I decided to take the snare off in 330 boxes. Now we'll just concentrate on trail. All I got is those two boxes out and I can easily just leave those at the tent frame. I don't have to bring them here. That's that. Still might take a run in the morning though. We'll see. Well, the wind has picked up, snow moved in. This started about an hour ago. I've just been uh, relaxing. So hopefully this passes. As far as I know it's supposed to be uh, partly cloudy tomorrow. Oh, it's freaking hot in here. It's like 25. Yeah, 25. Boy, I haven't been able to look like that for a long time. Every time I tried that, I hurt my back too much. But, we're progressing, slowly. Just got to start uh, some exercises and strengthen everything up again. Simple as that. So I made a decision also, I'm going to Went out to fuel the generator up to last for the rest of the night, and then I was standing out there looking at the looking at the shed, and I figured I'm gonna build that shed in a different spot, and I will show you right now. Well, no use going outside to show you that, but uh, that's where the shed's gonna go, right with the. Uh, trapping sleighs are. It's going to be facing this way of course, not on that angle. And the big tree in the background where I have my uh, skulls hanging in, that'll be the back of the shed. So we'll probably make it about three feet, three or four feet away from there. And that way the shed will be farther away and that means I won't hear the generator at all. I, I don't hear it really that much anyway. If I get a certain wind it's a little bit louder. I got a little board blocking it there. You've seen that just to reflect some of the sound from the generator but I didn't switch anything around in that little shed because you know what I just actually thought the new shed would be up by now but it's going to be a skinning shed slash storage shed and also in the back I'm going to have a sauna I got a small stove for that and I'll have to buy some cedar and all the you know reflective paper that goes behind it but uh, that's going to be pretty cool you're going to walk through the shed to get to the sauna so uh, I think that's gonna, I think that's gonna be pretty cool out here. And the shed, it's only gonna be two by four, nothing crazy. I don't think I'll insulate the the main shed, but obviously I will insulate the the sauna in the back. I, at least that's the plan for for it right now. Well, I think I'll call it a night. It's about ten o'clock, and I really can't uh, watch anything on TV anymore. Wow, what a boring day. But I have to let the, the back rest. I was kind of designing the shed for next year and doing a few other things. Yeah, beautiful night. Stop pretty quick, according to the forecast. Anyway, I tell you, sure feels good grabbing something without feeling your back pull. That's for sure. Forgot what it feels like. It's been so long. Twenty-five in here now. And it feels nice, so that goes to show you I had it hot in here all day and I, got, I was getting used to it. Um, it's time for bed now. I got uh, enough kindling for the morning. And look at that, that's so much uh, wood we used all day. Isn't that awesome? It's only minus 18 out, but uh, like I was telling Vandermeer, you know, 
And I think a lot of people are under pressure and you go through a ton of wood in this big cabin, but you don't. The first 24 hours, yeah, you do, because you got to heat. It's such a big building to heat up, right? So once it starts to get pretty warm in here, I open everything up and make sure everything's heated. Once everything's heated, I close the door in the back and this place stays 20 degrees. And it'll cool down at night, yeah, but uh, bang, it warms up with a few sticks of wood. It's uh, hot in here again. So. Well, hopefully this uh, cloud moves on this morning. Still early. I'm going to fire up the generator, do some cleaning. I gotta get into the back storage room there and there's a couple things I want to throw out today. So that's what I'll be doing this morning is uh, taking a few more things to town that I'm not using. There's a bunch of stuff in there uh, that has been there for some time and time to get rid of it. I gotta keep the electrical though if I'm doing my new shed. I'll be uh, needing that for a few plugs and lights in there. I see something out there. Or just a raven. Yeah, raven. Sitting in the middle of the tundra. I am just getting the last of the garbage in the corners here. And that'll be that. It's all clean in here, all the wood's inside. That wood lasts a lot longer than I thought it would. Like, I'm a month short of leaving, a uh, month and a few weeks short of leaving here. And I didn't think it would last that long, all my wood out there. Me and Dave got a few loads, but I barely touched that out there. We were bringing it in from here, because I said I want to clean this out. I got to screw the walls properly. You can even see, I didn't even put a staple there, there's a bit of a gap. And there was one there, I already screwed that shut though. And I can't screw around the door until I figure out what I'm going to do because uh, I separated it for a reason to put the storm door on there. But this little piece can easily be taken off and widened for another door. So I'll see if I can get another door in town. And uh, I don't know if they have any 2 by 4 doors. We'll see. Not too many people use those anymore. But if not, it's not a big deal. And I don't think I'm going to be doing around here yet because it's a lot of work to do here and I want to get all the siding done so and uh, of course all the soffits and everything else but uh, we'll get there so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here with two scroll boxes at the end because you have no choice they're going to get here no matter what so I get the broom handle here so in this one I'll make a scroll box I'm going to put a double 2x6 across here to make sure they don't chew and go into this big area and then I'll put a board here so I can uh, pull this out and clean that whole area I'll pull it all and drop it on here and sweep it up and same with this area here I don't know if I'm going to do two but uh, definitely I'm going to be doing one 